Hello, my name is Mark Ballard and I've been a gas registered engineer for the last 20 years. Today I'm looking at the Glowworm Energy 30C. The boiler has stopped working and you can no longer get hot water or central heating. This is because the system is running low on pressure and on the front of the boiler you can see it says zero bar. All that needs to happen is the boiler needs to be topped up and then the boiler will start working again. If you find this video useful and it saves you from a cold week, a chilly shower or that nasty call at fee, then please do consider clicking the link and leaving a small donation. That will be much appreciated. Or just click like, leave a comment, subscribe, share me with your friends. Right, now let's get your boiler working again. This is the front of your Glowworm Energy Combination Boiler. And as you can see, the display is showing zero bar and you can no longer get hot water or central heating. What we need to do is to go underneath the boiler where you can see lots of valves and pipes. But the two we are interested in are these two valves here, this one and this one. What I strongly recommend you do is you turn this valve first because this valve is tricky to get to. So we turn this valve in a clockwise direction like this. Okay, that valve is now on. We then put our hand on this valve, we keep our hand on this valve and we open this valve up like this. You'll hear some noise as the water goes in. You can see I've not fully opened it yet. So keep your hand on it, go back to your display, open the valve all the way up and watch the display rise. Okay, we're still going. We're now at 0 0.3 bar. I'm going to continue topping it up till I get to around about 1.5 bar. One. When there is enough pressure in the system, the boiler will start running a startup sequence where the boiler will run and turn itself on and off, on and off. This is just to pump any air out of the boiler before it starts working again. Right, now that's it. Turn this valve off, as you can see here, by turning it anti-clockwise. I then go to this valve here and turn this valve off anti-clockwise too. So now both valves are off and your boiler will now be up and running again. You just need to wait for the startup process to finish. And that will take about five minutes. As you can hear, the boiler has now finished its startup process and the display is showing 1.5 bar which is absolutely fine. Okay, I hope this video has helped you and it saved you from a cold week or that chilly shower or that nasty call out fee, then please do consider clicking the link and leaving a small donation. That'll be really appreciated. Or just click like, subscribe, leave a comment, share me with your friends. Okay, that's it. Bye for now and I'll see you next time.